Okay, folks, we're recording. Now, I'm standing up because this is the best view of the pond. And we had a most interesting experience last night. It was the last blood moon until 2025. We could see it here in our yard. It was beautiful to watch. The clouds cleared away just enough. And later that night, we saw it at about 6 o'clock in our time, in the evening. Later that night, around 11.30, there was a very loud bang. I thought something electrical had blown up, but nothing in our house was smoking or fiery, or, and everything seemed to work. Um, we thought maybe a transformer on one of the power lines. They have a habit of blowing up, and there was a lightning storm. It could have been a real close lightning strike. Um, but whatever it was woke me up and Myra jumped up and our dogs don't bark at such things, but neither did the geese. And we couldn't find anything. We went to bed. Next morning, the ladies who go to work about seven o'clock in the morning and the gates open and they come in and go to work and Myra's up having her coffee and I'm still asleep in the chair because our dog has taken to getting lonely at 3.30 in the morning, so he comes over to our bed and either puts his head on my rib cage or his nose under my back, very wet nose, very big Doberman, and he does that until I get up and go sleep in the big comfy chair that I sit in at night and he sleeps beside because he wants some company. And that's where I was, but the ladies got to work to get back to the story and they found 80 plus tilapia outside of the pond. Uh, half a dozen of them had been eaten. The rest looked like they jumped out of the pond in fright. Now, this being done on a full moon, what can I say? It, it gets interesting. You wonder about such things. Uh, we think the most reasonable explanation is that a very large snake went into the pond and some of the fish jumped out in fear and others were eaten. Now lately we've been seeing some pretty big snakes in our yard, uh, three meters plus long, as, as thick as a uh, the calf of a man or a woman. They're, they're big and they could certainly do that. And if it had been a person, then the geese would have been going ballistic. If it had been rats, there's no way that they would have left all those fish there and they would have had to be really big rats. Um, and the geese, we have seen them when a snake gets near, the geese just freeze, watch it, and are very silent. They don't wish to attract attention. So we think it was a snake that got in. Uh, today, the fish that are still alive in the pond we're going to harvest. Um, the ones that aren't big enough to eat will go into the upper pond. We'll put mosquito net and what have you around the upper pond, just in case the snake should try for that one. Uh, now, a snake that could eat fish that big would account for the fact that our turtles are missing. Uh, a boa constrictor or any of those big constrictors could certainly eat a turtle. And they, I haven't seen them for a week or two. So there may be a big snake in the area. Um, another possible option is that the city put a lot of chlorine in the water and drove the fish mad. I have no idea what the truth is, but I do know that uh, it's interesting. I'm going to take this in just because, whoops, I went in a little too far for the focus, I think. There, that's better. I don't know if we'll see any fish in there or not, or a snake, but that should work. Uh, let's see, autofocus. Yeah, we're recording still. Looks like it's in focus. I hope it is. 
anyway, uh, you know, it's not, this is the reason it never gets boring in my garden. Things keep happening, problems keep happening. Uh, our water supply went down and I thought, well, it's time to change the filter. So we called in our plumber, who is the best plumber I've ever known, who never makes mistakes. But he came and he changed the filter and there was still no improvement. And he said, well, if you want me back, I'll come back. And just for the heck of it, I, I went and took a look at it and the ladies helped me, or at least men helped me, she barely wasn't here. And we found out that he put the filter in upside down, which meant that the water couldn't go through. So we put it in the right way and the water flow worked just fine. First mistake that Dennis has made in 10, 15 years that he's been working for us. So we're not going to hold it against them. Everybody's entitled to a bad day. And that's really as much as this is going to be, just a short little video. I'm going to set the camera up now to get some still shots. Uh, Y'all have a good day and we'll get this on the air for you. Bye bye for now.